It's a bull snake, big bull snake. But I wonder if it's one of those rattlesnake bull snake hybrids. You know, when the rattlesnakes and the bull snakes are crossbreeding. I hear that's going on. Let's talk about that. Ah, yes, the old bull snake rattlesnake hybrid thing. Let's talk about that a little bit. You know, when it comes to snakes, people are apt to believe just about anything, more so than they really would any other animal. If I told you a snake had five heads and could sting you with his tail or grab his tail and roll down a hill or a snake chased me, and these type of things, you tend to want to believe it. Now, if I told you a horse could fly or breathe fire, you absolutely wouldn't believe me. You'd say, I, I need to get my head checked a little bit. But people are willing to believe just about anything when it comes to snakes. So the bull snake hybrid thing, bull snake and a rattlesnake are hybridizing together. So we got to watch out because you can't tell one from the other. And when people tell me they heard this, I say, where exactly did you hear this from? Did you hear it from a biologist, a herpetologist, your science teacher? Where exactly did this come from? And normally they'll say, well, I heard it from a friend, I heard it from a relative. The one that often surprises me is that I heard it from a rancher or I heard it from a farmer because you would think a rancher or farmer would understand animal reproduction pretty good and wouldn't fall for the old rattlesnake, bull snake hybrid thing. So let's take a look at why this certainly isn't happening. Now, a bull snake is one genus. And a rattlesnake is another genus. Now, when we break things down in the animal world, we break them down by phylum order, genus, species, this type of a thing. So you've got the rattlesnakes over here, you've got the bull snakes over here, two completely different species with two completely different types of reproduction. Now, a bull snake lays eggs, rattlesnake gets live birth. Completely different strategies for that. But can a rattlesnake hybridize with another snake? Yes, but only within its own genus. They do not hybridize with snakes of other species. They simply can't do it. Now you might find a hybrid rattlesnake and say a timber rattlesnake is hybridized with a Eastern diamondback rattlesnake. Occasionally that happens, very rare in nature, but every great once in a while that happens. And it only happens within its genus. Animals don't really cross with other types of animals. You won't see a, a badger uh, crossbreeding with a pronghorn, although that would be pretty cool. You don't see a horse breeding with a cow. You know, we, we all drive out in the country, we don't see the horses and the cows and some mixture of of little animals in between them, we certainly don't see that because it doesn't happen. Because the reproductive strategies are totally different. As we said, our bull snake lays eggs and our rattlesnake gives live birth, completely different breeding strategies. They also have completely different boy parts and girl parts. You'll find one in one genus, you'll find something different in another genus. It really prevents them from crossbreeding. So think of it this way, different genus, different parts between us. Let's go with that. This is a family show. Different genus, different parts between us. So the rattlesnake and the bull snake have completely different boy parts and girl parts that simply don't match up. So even if they got together and got drunk one night and went home with each other, you're not going to see any babies out of that because it's physically impossible for those guys to do that. Okay. Now, where does this come from? Why do people tend to want to believe that these two have interbred? Now, here's what I think. When people run across a bull snake in the wild and it gets agitated, they start to shake that tail. So people can misinterpret that of, wow, he must have some rattlesnake in him. Somewhere along that genetic line, uh, they must have some rattlesnake blood in him. Now that's not necessarily true because a lot of different snake species will shake their tail when they get annoyed. It's a defense mechanism. We see it in king snakes, we see it in rat snakes, we see it in coach whip snakes, we see it in a lot of different snake species. It's simply a defense tactic that a lot of different snakes will use. That doesn't mean that they've got any rattlesnake blood in them at all. So although it's a great story, next time somebody tells you, hey, I heard that these two are interbreeding, Tell them, you know, that's not quite how it works. Remember, different genus, different parts between us. They don't match up, but scientifically, it just ain't going to happen. So thank you for joining us, and I hope that provides a little bit more clarity on the whole bull snake, rattlesnake hybrid thing. Join us next time.